Hi everybody, here's the other test on Hogwarts Legacy. We're in the first town, or I don't know how many towns there are, but I'm just saying the first town that I've um, encountered. If you recall my previous video, we were getting around 40 to 50 FPS uh, with ray tracing enabled. Now that we have DLSS, you can see the average that's uh, there. Let me reboot the, the average there. Let's just wait a bit, and we're getting something like 141. Let me show you the the settings quickly here. So here's the whole thing. Remember that I don't know why why it says window full screen. I have no idea. Uh, we're using the upscale here, the LSS. I'll remove it for a second, but most of the videos that I've seen on Windows were testing it like this. So on Ubuntu, I'm doing the same thing, except that the upscale I actually put a value there. We now have frame generation in it, and we can enable there. You can see everything that's uh, how I have it uh, set up. If you go to the graphics options, you can see everything is ultra, including the ray tracing. So we go back, and now we literally can play. And let me just. You can see the, the graphics are very cool. And now I can actually go into the town without lagging. A hundred, we're literally getting almost a hundred more FPS thanks to the DLSS quality. So I'm, I'm gonna remove the upscaling. I know other videos have done it, but just let me disable no upscale. So we use the, the full 4K. We're just gonna leave. All oh, right, because we can't enable it. So here's frame generation off. And what you're going to be seeing is just the difference between before. The only difference is in, instead of me using the 550 driver of NVIDIA, I'm using the 560 driver. That's all. That's all that has actually changed compared to this one. So, and, and let me just show you something else. Let me go to a worst case scenario. I know there's areas here that I get 40 FPS. Unless the 560 driver has done some miracle. Well, you okay? Make me a liar, apparently. Well, I do recall there were... Aha, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. It was something to do with water. Was it this? Like, dude. You're not getting 40 FPS. But I was. I was getting... Less FPS than what we're getting here. So anyway, okay. This looks like it's the worst place to be. Or at least was before. I'm getting 65 FPS right now. Let's now push it with to this one uh, quality and with the frame generation. So from 60, we're jumping to 130, 40. Okay, whatever you say. So that's a big jump, though. More than twice the performance with the DLSS 3. Yay! Can I attack somebody? Okay, so anyway, you see the performance increase, uh, increase and you can compare it versus the, um, the previous video that I did, which basically was just coming to Hogwarts uh, town, whatever this town is called. How can I see the name of the town? Anyway, yeah, if you come to the town, it's, it's laggy. And you can see the boosts that surpass 200 FPS sometimes. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Oh, okay, thanks. Okay, so it's Hogsmeade. Wow. Yeah.
What happens if I go up here? Just look at everything. Yep, above 100 still. With the LSS. Where's that guy going? Mm hmm. What happens if I. Oh. Anyway, you see that we've now. We got frame generation. We got ray tracing. I mean, basically, we got the big boys on Linux side. And they boost a lot the performance of games as as you're visually aware of yeah okay let me see if I, we can somehow disable this thing here so if I do this I still keep this one Gray, exactly. That's what I wanted to test. Okay, so now we're at 4K, original 4K, crispy recipe. What the? Um, okay, now let's go into the city and we can see just frame generation alone. Just frame generation alone. It's still almost as twice as the previous video that I did here. Look at that. Look at that average. Let me just reset this and we're gonna do a run to see the actual average. Let me just try to lag it. Lag the game. Or lower the average. literally play it like this. What happens if I go over here? Yeah, below a hundred. Oh. Uh. 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 Let's go over here. It's funny because the one percent it's 81 FPS, which is still higher than the previous video that I did without frame generation. We. You okay? Whoa, my God. Oh, okay. I forgot about that. Yeah. We're, we're getting around 50, between 30 and 50 more FPS compared to the previous video. And on top of that, on the previous video, I was actually using the upscaling at that moment. So if we use the upscaling, what happens if I do this? Holy mother. It, it's... Very detailed. I don't know if the video on YouTube is going to show you how detailed it is. a lot of okay it, the details are exaggerated now where's water let me look for water so we can see they are ray tracing there
Well, okay. I think you got the gist. Obviously, the the town has a much higher impact on FPS than the actual school. So just you can just imagine how the school would be. So much higher FPS over there at the school or the pre-log when you're playing with a other uh, teacher. Yep. Look, look at that. So again, everything is ultra with ray tracing, with ray tracing, and we're using this here. What happens if I remove ray tracing? Okay. What happens if I remove ray tracing? Sure. Apply the changes, and I leave that there, and we lower this, or we just put a zero. And we leave the frame generation. Like how much actual FPS would we get? Oh my god, look at that. Now it looks horrible. And we got literally the same amount. I'm just testing things here. And what happens if I do ultra performance? Would that have any impact? Real impact. Oh yeah. Okay. That looks horrible. I mean, it looks nice, but when you look at it on the monitor, it just doesn't look good. Let's put quality here. Raise that to, I don't know, 50, 4, okay. I mean, it looks nice, but when you get used to ray tracing, I don't even know if there's ray tracing. Oh yeah, there is. Okay. When you get used to ray tracing. Oh, the ray tracing was enabled. Oops. No wonder. Is it disabled now? Ah, yes. It looks more cartoonish. Yep. Okay, we got this here, we got the quality. Okay, let's just enable that. I need to reboot. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll just keep it. Just imagine having more FPS if we actually properly disable ray tracing on the game. No wonder I'm seeing like reflections and stuff like that. Anyway, happy to help with this video. Hope you like the video. Subscribe and you know, like and leave your comments about any other videos you want me to uh, to do or any questions that you have about Linux and gaming specifically on Ubuntu. Okay, think positive. Big hugs. Bye. Yeah.